Hello everyone, uh, this is the next video tutorial of uh, online examination system that is the tutorial number 5 and uh, in this uh, video tutorial I am going to show you how to create a unit of work uh, on the generic repositories. So in uh, generic repository you have to see in uh, template class and uh, in unit of work uh, I am going to use a generic repository. So uh, unit of a class uh, just add i unit of work okay first of all and uh, in the i unit of work interface uh, add uh, the first thing is the i generic repository reference so you can add i generic repository that is the interface name oops i generic repository that is the interface name of the repo uh, under the repository folder so i generic repository uh, is a used template class so use template it here and put uh, some method name at here so generic repository is the method name okay so a generic repository have with the class uh, template type t and where t is the class name you can say so that is the thing you can add uh, in a uh, thing that is in in the form of the signature and the next thing you have to add a save method so in the save s is not naming convention so that is save method i generic repository under the repository folder so use online examination dot data access dot repository folder okay so the next thing you can do with the unit of work class implemented on the basis of i unit of work so just add a new class add new item and the class is unit of work okay so uh, the class made public and uh, in that folder you have to use i unit of work and i disposable okay so also implement method and also implement i unit of work okay that's fine so in the uh, class that is generic repository uh, i generic repository of template t and the generic repository t where t is the class name so in which uh, unit of work uh, first of all add a application db context so initialize that application db context object uh, using constructor so application db context underscore context equals to null first of all initialize with the null value okay uh, and that application db context initialize in the constructor also so uh, just select and uh, use uh, uh, options so application db context initialized in the constructor unit of work and in the i generic repository of uh, the method generic repository of t where you can use so so i generic repository i generic repository of t uh, is a repo just i want to call that uh, by unit of work so new generic repository and in which you can pass uh, t and context okay so simply you have to pass the context object from using this and return repo okay so oops getting an, an error because a constructor is not uh, have uh, the single parameters so just have to check it in the generic repository constructor where have some other thing you have to add uh, 
just right click on the uh, error and go to the definition uh, first of all and directly you can go to the generic repository class uh, where you can see that uh, in the constructor we have two parameters but in the generic repository uh, where we have to only pass the single uh, parameter that is the context in but in the definition part we have two parameters so the next thing is to add uh, first of all check the generic repository class so just open it and you can see that uh, db set is also mentioned it here uh, so just removed it and only uh, add a application db context and just removed from here because a db set is initialized with the context so just remove that and add it here context dot set of t okay so db set actually actually db set is initialized with the context so context underscore context dot set of t okay so just add and remove that and just plus just after the context so first of all context is initialized uh, and after that you have to you have to initialize your db set okay so it's a pretty uh, simple thing you uh, you have to add into your uh, repository class now the save method is used always context dot save changes in the unit of work uh, unit of work class that is and i disposable uh, sorry dispose method is similar looking like the generic repository you can say so just copy and paste uh, from the generic repository so just copy from here there is the three thing in the generic repository and paste under the from uh, at here so just replace it with the code so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos